As of 2012, Canada's energy consumption has been estimated around 549.5 billion kilowatts an hour, making energy consumption and production a very important part of everyday life. The problem is that the demand for energy is only rising, and it will become continuously harder to meet the demand. Our group realized that energy exists all around us, even in the form of subtle vibrations. Most of our current methods for generating electricity involve the use of chemical or kinetic energy. The task that we wanted to accomplish was to design a method for generating electricity in the everyday world without wasting space or doing any more harm to the wildlife. Using everyday interactions to generate electricity opens up a whole new way of thinking about electricity generation. With this in mind, our group began analyzing classical energy sources present in everyday life. We found that the kinetic energy of the wind displaced by moving cars, trains, airplanes, and other vehicles as they move would be an excellent source of energy. Next, we learned about finding a way to harness said energy. It wasn't until we learned about how electricity can be generated using electromagnetic induction that we had our answer. We hypothesized that we could transform the kinetic energy of the wind into electrical energy using one of the methods described by Michael Faraday. This would involve using the kinetic energy of the wind to move a coil relative to the magnet, generating a magnetic flux and therefore a current. We spent the next several weeks tinkering with various prototypes guided by the information from our research. After several major redesigns, we had a prototype that effectively transformed the turbulence and vibrations of the rushing wind into the movement of the magnet. We tested the prototype using the wind force from a vacuum and measuring the output with an oscilloscope and multimeter. After analyzing our results, we decided to compare the voltage production of our device relative to the surface area it occupied. We discovered that our prototype was producing an average of 7.2 volts per meter squared, achieving a nearly 30% greater voltage per surface area than wind turbines, which produce on average 5.6 volts per meter squared. Our prototype achieved this even without a perfectly optimized system, and its small size allows it to be used in numerous innovative ways that other energy generation methods simply cannot. In the future, we hope to further develop our prototype in order to make optimal use of its many potential applications.